everyone, my name is Gray. I'm the dietitian and health coach with MLK Health Center and Pharmacy. I did a class earlier today and I was talking to this group about supplements um, because they had a lot of questions about what they should take, um, you know, what's helpful, what is a supplement. So that inspired me to do a video here. Um, so to, to start, a supplement is something or any kind of product that's taken by mouth that has some sort of dietary ingredient. And what I mean by dietary ingredient is um, any sort of vitamin, mineral, um, amino acid, fatty acid, herbs, things of that nature. Um, so this, this can include a lot of different things. It could be a protein powder or mass gainer. It could be um, some of the, the meal replacement shakes, um, even, you know, some of these little energy shots or things like that have, um, some things that would qualify it as a supplement. It could also be things like a multivitamin or any variety of some of those vitamins and minerals that you might see at, um, a drugstore or grocery store. Um, so there are lots of things that fall into this category. Um, so the first thing that I want to note about supplements is that they are not regulated. And what I mean by that is that there's no governing body to make sure they're safe, basically. So for our food or for our um, like prescribed medications, those are all regulated by the Food and Drug Administration or the FDA. So basically this governing body makes sure that these different um, foods or drugs contain what they say they contain or and that they don't have any harmful ingredients. Now it's not a perfect system, but there is some oversight to generally make sure that what we're consuming is safe. For supplements, that does not exist. So what that means is that there's really no way of um, knowing if, if a supplement actually contains what it says it contains, or uh, there's not a, a foolproof way of knowing if it's safe or if it has any potentially dangerous ingredients. Now this gets tricky because that doesn't mean that all supplements are bad or dangerous. There's really a wide range. Um, so there's some that are, you know, certainly going to be more sketchy. And then there are others that, um, are reputable brands. They have had third party testing done where an outside group has come in and, um, tested their products to make sure that they contain what they say they contain and that there aren't any, um, concerning or harmful ingredients. I'm not here to tell you what's good, what's bad, or be a sales rep for any of these brands. I would just encourage you to do your own research so you make sure that you're buying something that's um, that you feel like is reputable. Um, if you can find some additional testing for certain brands, that's certainly going to be um, a positive thing that you want to look for. Um, another concern that I have about supplements is that they can be expensive. And if you don't really know what you're doing, or if you're just sort of taking them willy nilly, um, that can really add up and you may not really get all that much benefit from it. Um, a lot of these, um, different compounds, especially things like vitamins, water soluble vitamins to be specific, if we don't need them, we just end up peeing it out. Um, it can be the same way with, um, you know, extra protein, um, for like really going overboard with the protein powder. So really what you end up doing is just paying for more expensive urine, um, because these are nutrients that you're not really able to use this excessive amount of, um, if that makes sense. So definitely keep that in mind. You don't have to go crazy and buy all these really expensive supplements to be healthier. Um, the last thing that I, I want to note here is when I think about getting healthy, supplements are not my first stop. Um, really, that's that's the last place um, or the last stop, maybe one of the last steps that I um, think about when it comes to getting healthy. So this is a, an analogy that I use a lot. I think about an artist um, creating a sculpture. So they've got a piece of, of granite in front of them, let's say. So when they're starting out this sculpture, they're just, they're going to kind of be knocking off um, rough um, edges, um, taking off big chunks that they know they won't need. The changes are going to be not super precise, um, just some kind of basic 
things here and there. And then as that artist progresses, um, things are going to get a little more detailed, a little more fine-tuned, and towards the end, it's going to be some some really fine detail work to, um, you know, really get the all the features that they want on that final product. So I think of healthy diet and lifestyle is kind of the same way. Um, initially, the changes are going to be kind of big, maybe eating more vegetables, cutting back on the sodas, um, getting a little more sleep, that sort of thing. And then as time goes on, you're going to maybe dial that in. You know that you perform better if you have this many grams of protein or you know you need this much sleep. Um, and then eventually you can start kind of filling in those gaps with supplements. That's the natural progression of things. But I think if you start this journey at a supplement shop, that's essentially the same thing as that artist taking the hunk of granite and just going right in for that left eyebrow and really detailing it out. It's, it's just sort of misses the mark. Um, you have all these other things that probably could have been dealt with first and would have been more worthwhile. And instead you've kind of dialed in on this one thing that um, and it doesn't really make a difference. Um, so just, just something to keep in mind. You don't have to start your wellness journey at a supplement shop. Really that should be um, the, the last place you look. If you do decide to take supplements, um, you know, talk to your doctor or a dietitian first, maybe have lab work done to see if it's something that would be appropriate for you. Um, and always, always do your research to make sure that you trust the brand and that it's safe. Um, and then lastly, check with your doctor, as I said before, to make sure that the med or the supplements that you're considering taking don't interfere with any medication that you're currently taking, because um, there could be some interactions there. So a lot to consider. I know these things are super accessible, easy to find, um, but a, a few just warnings for you all before you just go buy a bunch of supplements. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you all have interest in other nutrition or wellness videos, please check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.